Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, the market is closed, but because I have my Kobe Bryant jersey on, we can have that Mamba mentality and keep the thing going 24-7, um, seven days a week. Um, well, actually, that's the point of this video. So unfortunately, if you guys use um, IB, IB Gateway or TWS uh, with IB in Sync or with the native API or whatever, you notice that once a day, it'll automatically sign you out which is really annoying if you want to like keep the day running or in case, my case, let's say I know it, um, I'm not going to be able to use my computer the next day. So I want my algorithm to still be running. So I'm going to show you a way to get around that where you can automatically like restart IB Gateway at once a day at a certain time. And based on that, you will um, uh, connect to IB and um, run your algorithm and so on so you can keep it going. I will say that like, uh, online there is this like IBC controller thing that people use for this like to automate these tasks I am NOT using that if anyone uses that and is successful in doing it please write a comment I'll show you just like my simple non rigorous way to do it so let's get started um, so the first thing to know uh, uh, for, uh, one more thing um, is uh, we're gonna use this AIO schedule library um, so we can uh, uh, asynchronously schedule uh, a job at a certain time in Python. Um, and you need this for like Jupyter when you, you need asynchronous jobs. You want to do other things in the meantime. Um, and I will say if you want to make it super rigorous, you should probably do like a Linux cron job to schedule the tasks. But we're not going to do it rigorous for now. We're going to do it like uh, Jupyter Notebook and Intuitive. Anyways, so let me first demonstrate this AIO schedule thing. So um, you create this uh, task. Uh, so it's asynchronous function, async task. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say um, async task running at, let's make it uh, 10, uh, 20 a.m. Eastern time. And then it waits 10 seconds and then it says task complete. So now I can schedule this function and, uh, and I say like, uh, I have this another um, uh, thing like a scheduler and I say every day at 1020, do this task above, right? And then um, um, just like this is the syntax. I don't want to get it too much into um, asynchronous stuff, but like um, this will be the async function. It'll be while true. You do a, a wait schedule that run pending, and then you um, you sleep uh, uh, at, to prevent a tight loop. And then you have this run scheduler function. It, it, it grabs the event loop. It does all these things. I don't want to get into details. This is not an async video, but basically, bottom line is, if you if I post this code and you see it, you'll see that at 10:20 a.m. Eastern time, it'll do this task. It'll say like async task running at 10:20 a.m. Eastern, and then task complete. Okay, so let's run that. And I will say it's very important that that your um, time matches with your uh, system time. So like, even though I'm not in Eastern time, I set my system time to Eastern time because when I'm developing, I like using my local machine and I want it to work. So what you're gonna see, now you can run whatever functions you want, but at 1020, it's gonna like asynchronously run this. So it's gonna um, print this and then print that at 1020. So we have to wait until 1020 for that and we'll do that. Um, <laughs> not 1020 yet, soon. Uh, sorry, I, I should have timed it better. Okay, and then after this, I'm gonna show you, um, we're gonna connect to IB, and I'm gonna show you how to like, um, okay, see, great. So at 1020, this function ran, right? So the idea now with interactive brokers is we're gonna connect to IB, um, but really what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna, we're gonna say like, we know our IB is gonna be restarted at a certain time. So I guess I actually ran this function twice. So that's why it ran twice, but let me restart this for a second. Okay, so now let me um, run some this cell, this cell. And now let's create, um, we'll create a different function uh, in a second, but first let's connect to IB. I wanna illustrate one concept first and we'll do IB, it will be um, from IB async or IB in sync import star IB equals IB util dot start loop. This does the um, nest async yo. Uh, and then we do IB dot connect, whatever port and uh, 
um, client you want you have configured um, I'll do a whole video on IB gateway this is just really for this one topic but okay so now um, okay so now I connected right so annoyingly um, I can't keep this connection going for over a day it'll restart but you can control when it restarts or um, shuts down so you have to do this you do configure settings uh, lock and exit and then you choose when to exit so it's really important that you uh, have ev all the times in the same time zone matched up and I'll show you what you need to check so like let's say uh, what time is it what time is it Eastern time for a second it's um, 11 10 21 Eastern so why don't we say that at 10 23 we're gonna automatically restart so I'll do um, 10 10 uh, 23 a.m. and there's auto log off and auto restart you, you want auto restart if you want to like rerun this so we can do apply or okay okay great so now we look here and you'll see that um, if you do IB dot uh, that uh, is connected you'll see it's true right but if you wait till um, 10 uh, 23 you'll see that it automatically logs off right um, so we'll wait till 10 23 and again you you're gonna have to make sure all your time stamps line up time zones line up so I made this in Eastern time um, and I'll show you how to make the IB gateway in Eastern time because it needs to all match up it all has to be the same time so it's 1022 still um, in the meantime I'll open another IB gateway just to show you guys what I mean so IB uh, that is connected still true but you'll see at 1023 um, so I open a new one 1023 you see connection closed right and you'll see here what happened is it um, so I open a new one but like the old one uh, you'll you'll see that it kind of restarted it um, uh, uh, see it's restarting it right okay it's restarting it okay because that's the auto restart at 1023 so now you can check IB that is connected is false so like the idea what we want to do is we want to do some sort of scheduler here where we do kind of like um, okay we'll do like something like um, uh, let's say um, connect to IB um, every every day at um, 10 27 uh, two mins after uh, restart so I'm gonna change my restart to um, to uh, 1025. So connecting to IB, what does uh, connecting to IB mean? Connecting to IB is something like uh, IB dot connect um, port equals 4002 client ID equals um, um, client ID equals uh, zero. Okay. Um, I think this works. You might have to do an await IB uh, connect async, but I, I think this works. This has worked for me before. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's do like this. I wait IB, IB dot connect async. Let's do something like this um, and see if it complains. So this would mean at um, at uh, ten twenty seven we uh, we wanted to connect. Uh, you know, let's do 1028 and we'll make it two minutes after restart. So I'll do 1028. Okay. So, um, um, so now let's adjust. We'll make the restart now at 1026. So I'll do, um, where settings, uh, um, uh, lock and exit. I'll do 1026 is the auto restart. And then I'll do apply. Okay. Okay, wait, but I'm not even connected to IB. So just one second, I'll connect to IB. Okay, now IB that is connected is true. And then at 1026, it'll be, um, this, this will end up being false. And then at 1028, we hope that it has restarted. And, um, I, I, I need to double check myself and this is if this is correct um, but um, this is kind of a live video so uh, 
Okay, see 1026, you see the restart is pro in progress. So now we want two minutes later at 1028, we are going to do the ib.connect async. So let's see if that works. So we have to wait for 1028 to get the result. In the meantime, I wanted to say that it's extremely important that you have your time zones lined up. So when you're first connecting to IB Gateway, make sure your time zone is lined up with the time zone either you want to use here or everything needs to be lined up. So I just set everything to Eastern time. So make sure you have like American New York or whatever. Make sure everything is lined up. It's extremely important. This was one of my worst bugs when I had this at California time and it messed everything up for a long time. It screwed up a lot of trades. So make sure this lines up, everything lines up. Um, it's extremely important. And this, you get it like on your first login, um, before you log in, okay? Um, so now, uh, that said, now uh, it's 1027. So like in one minute, we're gonna see if it connected. So now if I do IB is connected, remember it disconnected me, it's false. So we're praying that at 1028, it'll automatically connect. So when it automatically connects, then you can think about it. You can actually like run more functions after that. You can rerun your script or you can do like, um, like run whatever function you want. I don't think I needed this connect async. I could have just did ib.connect, I think. Um, I don't know why I did it this way, but um, let's check. I think learning asynchronous programming is uh, important. Um, so we have to wait one minute. I'll write this three instead, three here, because it'll print out what we're doing. I have a feeling we're going to have an error, because always when you do something the first time, you have an error. 1028, connect every day. Uh, uh, task is completed. Did we connect? Moment of truth. Oh, yeah, it worked. Okay. So like ideally what you would do is you would set like this thing to like uh, this um, time. You do configure settings, lock and exit. You'll set this to like the middle of the night or whatever. Um, and you can restart it once a day and then you have some logic to restart your programming. So I would have something in my case, I would do like um, um, rest of my uh, trading logic. Okay. Um, so this was just showing you how to keep things going uh, with some sort of scheduler. Um, if you found this useful and you're new, please like and subscribe. Uh, rec suggest videos. I have all the videos you guys suggested. They're just like in my backlog. I have the sequential bootstrap ready to go. I just haven't been home a week. I have um, uh, some more like uh, large language model videos with Lama 3. I have uh, gap trading, things like that. Everything's kind of ready to go. I just haven't been home uh, for a while. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this short video and uh, have a great uh, Sunday. Thank you.